First of all, we'd like to welcome all of you to the 11th annual festival, Badger Festival. Guru Dave is asking why we invite him here and why he is here. And we all know that without him we'd simply be lost. It would be nothing. Actually, no one, the confidential representative of Shishima, Radha and Krishna, he is here. And it is the only way that we can enter into spiritual life. Without him, there is no possibility. Actually, I was thinking, it is said in, Srila Prabhupada told us that the real hero is not the one that can stand bravely on the battlefield and win his battles, but actually the real hero is the one that wins his spiritual battles. So our spiritual masters, our Guru Varga, all of them are real heroes. They win all of their battles. They never lose. So, so uh, by following in his footsteps, there may be a chance for us in this way all the eight anas of the day will not be lost and we can get some sukriti little by little. In this way we can move up and gradually get this rare, very rare gift, this sweetness, this karuna that we all very much want. So uh, we very much thank you for Gurudev for coming again and again. You are so merciful that... Uh, I can never estimate this mercy that you have come in through so much trouble and to keep coming here, even though we are totally unfit. And and uh, but anyway, your mercy is so wonderful. I thank you. I thank all of you for coming, and I hope we'll have another wonderful Badger Festival. Yeah, 
I, uh, in this assembly of so many qualified devotees, it's hard to access my heart because I get so nervous, but um, I pray to Gurudev really that whatever I may say may be pleasing to him and express my heart's sentiments accurately. Um, Srila Bhaktivinoda Thakur has a prayer uh, that made it to the West before even our Srila Prabhupada came to McGill University. It was a book called Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's Life and Precepts. And in that book there was several stanzas of the most beautiful prayer that he wrote in English. <coughs> One stanza says, O oh love, um, he says, O oh love, thy power and spell me benign, now melt my soul to God. How can my earthly words describe that feeling, soft and broad? And addressing us unfortunate jivas in this material world, he says, To thee, thy sire on high has kept a store of bliss above. To end of time, thou art, O his, who wants but purest love. So our Dave, now eleven times, has come with this mission. You belong to Krishna. The very fact that you exist is by Krishna's desire. And everything is acting and moving by the desire and, Krishna, and will of Krishna. Wake up. Wake up, Jeev Jago, Jeev Jago. Eleven years now he's been coming to wake us up. The other day a boy in the school uh, came and said to me, it's Hari Das, I don't know if he's here, he said, Braj, I'm really mad at Vyas. I said, why? He said, he's, he woke me up and I was having a really good dream. <laughs> and this is our condition in this material world. Gurudev is coming to wake us up, especially in the line of Rupa Goswami. This most inconceivable uh, opportunity for intimacy, love, and affection in the line of Srila Prabhupada, Rupa Goswami, coming from Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. And I'm still thinking, maybe one more shot at uh, um, lust forever. Maybe one more shot, if I can get some Pratishta, then I'll really be happy. And then it goes up. But all the dreams of material life, they turn into nightmares. And even when we realize that, then we think, maybe I can sleep without dreaming. <laughs> In so many different ways, we try to avoid this precious gift that our Guru Dave has come to give. I, I know in the material world today, they have this fighting thing. It's a new thing. And these two fighters are going at each other, smashing each other, kicking each other. Everything goes. And the only way the fight will stop is when the guy who's really getting bashed completely can't take it anymore, but they have so much Purusha Bhav that they won't, and then they finally tap out. Three times they tap out. I'm tapping out, Guru. <laughs> 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 if I try to get out by myself, the prison bars become tighter. Lust, Pratishta, the desire to figure the whole thing out, Five nervous breakdowns later, I stand here. I spoke to you ten years ago, and I said, will you please do the hard work? I was so sad that I was stuck in my brain and seeing all these sweet devotees with their hearts melting, and I was trying to figure out what's going on here. And then I went to Brajanath, and I said, Gurudev said he'd do the hard work in Brajanath Prabhu, in, in Badra. He said, are you sure you want this? The last person who asked for this, their whole life went up in smoke. And I said, I have no choice. So he went inside and came out with the message. Gurudev said, I'll take care of everything. <laughs> so it's, it's not an easy road because I'm clinging to the dream. But I'm praying to Gurudev. He's come again. And he is, like Bhaktivinoda Thakur says, the perfect manifestation of love. And through the many manifestations of his love, his, his Harikata, his Mahaprasadam, his glances, his touch, his chastisements, his instructions. I hope and pray that somehow or other this fool will allow him to touch his heart so that it can melt my soul to God. 
that I can be actually his completely without duplicity. This is my prayer at his lotus feet. And I pray that somehow or other, because he's merciful and he's come to save the fallen, even those who are envious of their own self, that he'll make the impossible possible. And one other point, um, those of us who live here, we are somehow understanding that Gurudev is doing something special. This is his new brunch. Every year now he's come and placed his lotus feet here 11 years. And every creeper, animal, the deers are running around like wild these last few days. The squirrels are going nuts on the road. They don't know whether to go left or right. The devotees are shaking. I put on my kirta three times this morning. First it was inside out, then it was backwards. And then I, finally I got it on right. And all the children are so excited. And so, so he told us once that Badger will become like, like Vrindavan. When we learn to properly invite and honor devotees according to their respective position and treat them with all respect. So you can allow us all here under the very capable guidance of Naguna Prabhu and, uh, and then the Gopal Prabhus and their families to please allow us to make this experience with Gurudev the topmost experience of your life. Impressions that you'll never forget. Please let us do any service that we can do. If you can't find anybody, all the teachers at the Guru Kul table know to, to respond to your needs. If we can't do it directly, we'll find the right person. But by allowing us to serve you, hopefully you'll allow us to come closer to the heart of our Guru Dave and all our uh, stuff. And Guru Dave, whatever you got to do, beat me up, punch me, uh, I'm tapping on it. Please, please give me your mercy. Bharat Prabhu Omegana Timananda Shahajanjana Shalaka Chakshana Militam Yanata Maheshi Gurubhaina. So uh, recently, Srila Gurudev told me that reading and remembering is not enough. So in the absence of active spiritual advancement, many of us are always searching for his newer and newer revelations, whether in Hari Kapura Bhakti or his new literature. But since I've seen his divine grace, Two incredible occurrences have taken place in my life. Once was his uh, mini biography of his divine grace, Srila Bhaktivedanta Vaman Maharaj, in the uh, Rays of the Harmonists. And in that publication, he presents the unique and unprecedented glories of his divine grace, Srila Vaman Maharaj, uh, his unique speciality to our Sampradaya, and how his pure Bhakti has spread and helped millions of people over the years. And Sri Bhakti Devi took shelter of his lotus feet. And how he has now made him a preeminent member of our Sampradaya and preached his glories so that we understand why we are making such precious prayers at his lotus feet for his mercy. So we're completely indebted to His Divine Grace for this biography. Anyone who hasn't read that should take advantage. Also, His Divine Grace, even though it has been in circulation for many years, felt somehow that out of His mercy that He gave a copy of His uh, purports to the uh, Ishkan Babas in 1991 of Srila Raghunath Das Goswami Zilak Kusmanjali. And even though this book is absolutely inaccessible to the fallen jivas, Srila Gurudev's commentaries are so extensive, so voluminous, so sweet, so touching, and so revealing that even someone very, very low can appreciate that this is the ultimate evolution in prayer. And somehow or another, even though I'm lacking all qualifications, his purports were so wonderful that I was somewhat pacified in my constant suffering that I'm not making any tangible advancement. 
And in the absence of this, His Divine Grace is constantly translating and giving other unique literatures following in the footsteps of the previous Acharyas who also have been writing and writing even though everything has been said. Srila Gurudev in, 19, I mean, 2002 was commenting that I've been to the Western world all the way to the East and he said, now I've said everything. Everything has been said. But even though I've said everything, if we say it again, then newer and newer revelations come. So we are unlimitedly grateful to His Divine Grace that even though some of His fallen disciples are not taking advantage, still, by His causeless mercy, He has given us newer opportunities to at least somewhat engage our minds. I'm thankful so much to everyone who's here, everyone I know personally and intimately, and those that I don't, I'm looking forward to meeting you. If uh, any other things we can do, we're thanking His Divine Grace coming again. And as I've always thought, that when I come into the presence of His Divine Grace, I'm expecting a miracle. So this year again, somehow or another, hope against hope, I'm expecting a miracle. <laughs> First of all, I offer my Dandavat pronouns unto the lotus feet of my spiritual master, Nityali the Prabhish to Om Vishnu Parasatara Satasi Shiman Shilavakthanata Swami Maharaj. And the same unlimited Dandavat pronouns I offer unto the lotus feet of my Shiksha Guru, Om Vishnu Parparamam Saparavantra Kachari Hastatara Satasi Shiman Shilavakthanata Narayan Pash. The devotees this morning are speaking so nicely, I don't know if I can speak. Um, we're all kind of, oh, sorry, done about pronouns <laughs> to all the assembled devotees. <laughs> done about pronouns to all my neighbors, friends, and family members here in New Brush. Done about pronouns to all the trees and rattlesnakes and <laughs> bear and tarantulas and flies and dogs and cats and one peacock. Done about pronouns. <laughs> So in this precarious material world that we live in, there are so many different kinds of power. There's political power, and military power, and national power, democratic power, socialist power, communist power, power tools and power bars, and <laughs> power, uh, solar power, electric power, hydroelectric power, um, mystic power, uh, intellectual power, um, Power, power, power. The fight for so many kinds of power. So in this world, there's so many, and the influence is so strong. But in this world, the influence of the power of one drop of the love and affection from, from one pure devotee of the Lord is more powerful than all of that power put together, 23 billion, trillion, trillion times. New Braj, we have been inundated by this power. We've been controlled by this power. We're completely sustained by this power of love and affection from Srila Gurudev. And now, for the eleventh time, he's here to rain his power on us again. By this power, he's attracted us. And he said when he first came that he was collecting hearts and putting them in his pocket. And so what's a pocket? It's a little piece of cloth with sewn around three edges, and it's for small things that get lost. <laughs> so what are we but conditioned souls? Little tiny insignificant things that have a really large tendency to get lost. <laughs> so he's kept us close in his pocket. Um, so by this love and affection, sorry, <laughs> 
He's attracted us and, um, and kept us close. By this love and affection, he's taught us, like any simple school teacher knows, that you can't teach anything without relationship between the student and the teacher. So by this love and affection, he's taught us so much, starting from ABC, going to DEF, <laughs> showing us what XYZ is and all of everything else in the middle. Um, with all of his wonderful books and lectures and mercy. So by this love and affection, he's attracted us, kept us in his pocket, and he's teaching us. And by his love and affection, he's showing us our goal. And what is our goal? But that love and affection, and he's showing again and again with love and affection. So this year in Kartik, Gurdjieff said such an amazing thing in Matura. I hope you were all there. And I hope everyone has to go this year. This year is going to be the Kartik of Kartik, and all Westerners just have to go. There's just no excuse anymore. But first you have to go to Matura, because there Gurudev often tells amazing little bits of nectar that you just can't imagine. So this year he was speaking Prem Samput. And that, that's like an amazing story written down by Shilavish Matakalila, written down by Shilavish Matakalila Thakur about Krishna, and he, he dresses up like a girl. And he goes to Srimati Radhika, and he starts to complain about Krishna himself. And so it's Krishna like, speaking his own disqualifications. And um, Srimati Radhika, of course, Gurudev explained to us, gave the most beautiful and perfect explanation of what is Prem. So he said um, that um, Srimati Radhika um, says that um, Prem is never selfish. And it only, the only desire is what is the happiness and desire of my beloved. And nothing else matters. So Ben Gurudev said the most amazing thing. He said, so where does this come from, this Prem? It, we're, it from conditioned souls. Where does this come from? And he said, it has to start from the relationship with guru and disciple. It has to start there. And he said, and when this disciple is there, this, this love is there between guru and disciple, this amazing love is there, he said, then miracles can happen. So we've seen by Gurudev's example so many miracles that he's performed because of his love for his Gurudev. So this is our example. And one time, speaking of miracles, one time in Badger, I heard Gurudev say with my own ears, he said, you're a Swamiji. He's famous in this world for one miracle. All over the world he's famous. He's made hippies into happies. He said, and I have made one miracle. I've turned Badger into Braj. <laughs> So we are all here at the School of Braj, and we're students. So um, let's try to be really, really good students. We have seven days in a very intensive um, situation. Let's try to learn the best we can. Uh, there will be many pop quizzes, and there's one big final test at the end. Um, that test at the end of this existence um, we, we do want to pass nicely, <laughs> so let's be really good students, and um, because definitely, most assuredly, without any doubt, we have the very best teacher. Very good. <laughs> Om Jnana Tamarandasya Jnana Jnana Shalakaya Chakshur Militam Jaina Tasma Si Gurudev Namaha Now from my respectful obeisances unto the lotus feet of my Diksha Guru Shri Shri Mahat Bhaktivedanta Narayan Goswami Maharaj and to the lotus feet of my Shiksha Gurus and our whole Guru Parampara especially Srila Bhaktivedanta Swami Maharaj Srila Prabhupada all the assembled Vaishnavas and Vaishnavis and all of our honored guests so, <clears throat> Srila Gurudev is blessing us again now for this most special 11th time. And on top of that, the numbers somehow seem to match because I heard in Los Angeles that Srila Gurudev is going to speak 11th canto. <laughs> so it's taken us 11 years to come to that. <laughs> so we're very fortunate. So, Gurudev also asked why we have called him how fortunate we are that he's come. Actually, the very first time Srila Gurudev came, nobody called him. That was his causeless mercy. He just came. He said he heard souls crying from Nubraj, and he came to answer that call. 
<clears throat> and since then, now every year, we've been calling him. And our real true purpose of calling him is to hear. Uh, this is the most important thing. But to hear from the lips of a pure devotee, simply reading uh, will not do. And I was thinking recently on the glorious uh, pastimes of Prahlad Maharaj. He was uh, in the school of the demons and his father was very angry with him. Uh, but his teachers convinced him, uh, we'll put, put him back in the school, we'll straighten him up, we'll teach him all the right things. We'll teach him how to uh, make money and, and do so many bad things. So Prahlad was in the school and after some time the teachers had a little confidence in him and they left him alone to watch the students. And when they left him alone, uh, all the children, as is normal in a classroom, the teachers leave, everybody wants to play. But uh, Prahlad said, no, 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 you should now chant Hare Krishna. And he began to explain to them, Shravanam, Kirtan, Vishnu, Smaranam, Padanam, like that, and was convincing them that they should do that. And they liked it, they agreed we should do it, but they had a question. Uh, Prahlad, how is it that we never heard of this? Where did you hear it? And he said, well, actually, when I was in my mother's womb, I heard it from Sri Narad Muni for 60,000 years. And I've remembered it, and now I'm telling you. And Srila Gurudev once said, his mother, he, she actually also heard, but she forgot. But Prahlad remembered. So without hearing, I was actually thinking, I'm like Prahlad's mother. I'm hearing so much constantly, but I can hardly ever remember anything. And also, Srila Gurudev, the first year that he came, I remember him saying to uh, Rasik Mohan and all the, the young boys, whenever he would see them, he would say, uh, become like Prahlad. So this is a very most important teaching. He has such great faith, such strong nishta. <clears throat> so, Prahlad taught them how to do that. And here we are now having an opportunity to hear from Srila Gurudev, to hear from a pure devotee. And this is the way we can truly make advancement. But we should truly hear. And so now we're here like uh, <clears throat> Parikat Maharaj. He was for seven days. He sat down to hear Srimad Bhagavatam at the end of his life. And now Srila Gurudev is here for seven days. And we can have that opportunity to be not diverted from anything else, but to just simply be here and hear Harikata. Everything's being arranged by Srila Gurudev's mercy. A nice place to sit, places to sleep, nice prashadam. Everything is there, and we can just sit down, and we'll do our best to take care of you, to serve you. Anything you like, we'll be very happy to try to make all arrangements so that you can just hear Harikata for seven days. Every day there'll be classes drama plays, music, and especially Gurudev's uh, teachings. I was thinking, Srila Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupada, he was like the first wave. He came to America, and this was all full of jungles, and he cut it, like Gurudev said, and he made this ground fertile, and so many nice devotees came, and they spread Krishna consciousness on his grace, on his mercy, all over the whole world. But then after he left, it become, became a little bit dry. Something happened. And now, by Krishna's grace, by Srila Prabhupada's order, by Guru's uh, desire, Srila Bhaktivedanta Narayan Maharaj has come here as the second wave, the great tsunami. And he's washed over and he's helping everyone so much. He's bringing us the sweet pastimes of Radha and Krishna. Everyone's becoming so happy. And so many preachers. He's like an uh, expert person who makes fires. You can start... And everyone has that tiny spark inside of themselves, like, like dry wood, you cannot see the fire, but fire is inside of the wood. And Guru, he comes and he ignites that fire, and that spark comes to life. And then, like an expert, like, fans it, and then it becomes like a little flame, and then brighter and brighter until we have expert preachers, like our Tridandi Sanyaskyan, like so many... Brahmacharinis and ladies like Sri Shamarani Didi and so many householders all going out on Gurudev's order and preaching all over the world and helping establish his mission. So Gurudev is most expert in all of this and we thank him again and again. We thank him for blessing us and coming here and we pray to receive his mercy. So thank you, Srila Gurudev. Thank you. Namam Vishnu Badaya Radikai Priyatmane 
श्री श्रीमद भक्ति वे राम तो नारायण नित्य नाम ने श्री कृष्ण लील सुदक्ष मधोय मधु युगुनाशयुक्त परम वरिण्यम पुरुषम महंत नारायण थम सिरसान मन श्रीरंगीन वक्त सरो मानिम छा श्री कृष्ण पदाय दीदी चैतन्य लीलामृत सरासर नारायण थम सतत प्रपद्ये पंच गोपत रुभिश्चा कृपा सिंधु वेद चा पति तनम पावने प्यो वैष्णवेभ्यो नमो नम I offer my most humble and heartfelt obeisances to the lotus feet of my Diksha, Shiksha Guru. His divine grace, Om Vishnu Padshi Shrimad Bhakti Vedanta Narayan Goswami Maharaj, unto all our glorious Guru Varga, our Shiksha Gurus, Shila Prabhupada, Bhakti Vedanta Swami Prabhupada, Shila Gorga Binda Maharaj, and all those who have helped us throughout the years. My heartfelt dandavat pranams to all Vaishnavas, Vaishnavis, my Guru Jan, and respected elders and guests. Gurudev has come to Badger for the same reason. He's traveling around the world preaching. He's merciful. Jiva Doya. When he sees the suffering of fallen conditioned souls in this world, his heart cries and he wants to preach and help them and help us. So Gurudev has come here to help us. I beg for his mercy that we can take this help because he is krishna kripa ki ananda murti dina jana karuna nidan he is the embodiment of krishna's mercy krishna wants everyone in this world to remember him to serve him to give up the illusory conception of materialistic life of suffering of repeated birth and death but the fallen souls in this world are very belligerent very self-centered independent and still krishna makes so many arrangements through bhagavat person bhagavat book bhagavat tulsi ganga and so many different ways so gurudev is krishna kripa ki ananda murti he is the mercy manifestation of krishna and dina jana karuna nidan he's helping all the fallen souls in this world bhakti bhava prem Tina Prakashata, Sri Guru Patita Bhavan. He's helping us to get bhakti, to develop ultimately the goal of life, Prayojan, which is Bha Bhakti, and ultimately Vastu Siddhi, Prem Bhakti, to attain an eternal transcendental form in the spiritual world with Radha and Krishna. So, I'm very fortunate again to be in the association of Gurudev, personally, and all the, the Vaishnavas. I beg for His mercy. that he can enlighten us and enlighten me in particular so that i can give up lethargy and fault finding and all the bad faults that come in jiva souls and kali yuga and i can learn to be a devotee like him shri gurudev ki jai so prema se गुरवे गौरचंद्राय राधिकाये तदाले कृष्णाय कृष्णभक्ताय तदभक्ताय नमो नमः तवैवास्मि तवैवास्मि न जवामि त्वया विना इति विज्ञाय राधे कमय माम चरणा बंचा कल्पतरुभ्यस्य कृपा सिंधुभ्य पति पावनेभ्यो वैष्णवेभ्यो नमो नमो महाबदन्याय कृष्ण प्रेम कृष्णाय कृष्ण चैतन्य नाम्ने गौरिषे मै कोटिकोटि दंडवत प्रणाम इन दी लोटस फीट ऑफ मै ए स्पिरिचुअल मास्टर ओम विष्णु पाद सुप्त शिष्य भक्ति प्रज्ञान केशव गोस्वामी महाराज एंड सैम इन दुर्स फीट ऑफ मई शिक्षा गुरु ओम विष्णु पाद सुप्त शिष्य भक्ति वेदांत स्वामी महाराज वेन आई कम हियर 
I remember Vrindavan, Govardhan, Annakut, so many things. Also, I am happy that perhaps in America this will be the this will be the this festival will be perhaps bigger than anyone. So many people. So <coughs> you should try to manage all these things. I think it will be properly managed. I am very happy that all the essence of Vedas. Upanishad, Puran is Srimad Bhagavad. But now you know all. <laughs> you know conjugal love. You know that Krishna told, I cannot repay, O gopis, O Radhiki. Hmm? You are so much fortunate to know all these things. Perhaps Atevedan Swami Maharaj Srila. He has brought this message from India very far away. Otherwise, how you can have known all these things mysterious? So I think you are very, very fortunate. Especially we know all that Radha Darsyam is the highest part goal of our life. Goal of our life. <coughs> but we want that you should practice eleventh canto, which is the process that Krishna has himself told to Uddhav. And if he will hear it and follow it, that is Bhagavad Dharma told by Krishna. And if closing your eyes you will run, even you will not fall down. So I will try to explain Eleventh Kato, the teachings of Krishna to Uddhav. That is called Uddhav Sambhad. 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 So, <coughs> you should also we prepare to speak on eleventh canto, Krishna teachings. We will discuss here. So now it is time. I am stopping my <laughs> speech. And in the evening, from evening class we will be tomorrow. Yeah, so you can 40 days together. Look at your left, your front side.